welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I filmed a video. Of course, I took a little break around um, Christmas time just to sort of hang out with the family. I'm still sort of on a break um, uh, hanging out with the family, but uh, I thought it would be fun and actually a number um, of my thrifty YouTuber friends thought it would be fun if we share our top 10 thrift finds of 2020. So um, there's going to be a playlist of everybody uh, who's deciding to share uh, their top 10 finds. So you can find that linked in the description box below. I actually saw um, my friend Manya from My Various Delights. Is that what she is on YouTube? Let me check because I know that's her on Instagram, but for some reason right now I can't quite remember if that's her on my various delights. Is that her? Yes. It is. <laughs> it is uh, my various delights. So a little while ago she shared uh, her top 10 of 2020. She also um, shared her, um, you know, flops of 2020, which I thought was fun too. But anyway, I will link her, uh, video down below, uh, as well, because she's the one who sort of, um, you know, gave me the idea to do this. And then, um, it came up with some YouTube friends and then we decided all to share. So I'm going to stop blabbing. I'm going to get into my top 10. Some of them you've seen in videos like thrift hauls before. Some of them you haven't, because I've been sort of, you know, off and on with sharing what I find at the thrift store. As you guys know, I've started my resale gig um, officially, I'd say, in 2020. And so uh, because of that, I've been sort of all over the map trying to figure out a good schedule for myself. But some of these you've seen, some of them you haven't. Let's jump right in. So the first thing, they're in no particular order, just FYI. I just have them all around me and I'm going to pick them up and show them to you. So. The first thing, you guys may or may not have seen this on um, Instagram, but I found these cookie cutters. They were $6 at an antique mall um, near me, and um, I thought they were cool. Like, the box is cool. It's got a good label. I could tell that they were old. And then um, I opened them up just like this in the store. Um, you know, quickly took a look, and I thought, yeah, those are cool. I bu I'll buy them. I thought maybe I could resell them. But when I got them home, I took them out and I thought, yes, in fact, they are cool. I liked the red color. I specifically liked the Santa. Um, there we go. I specifically liked the Santa. I thought he was a good size. He was really cool. But inside, so there are four of them. Inside, I found the coolest thing. I don't know if you guys will think this is cool, but I think this is cool. And I found the receipt inside for when they were, I assume it was for what's inside here uh, with a number of other things. Um, or maybe, you know, something that went along to make the cookies. But anyway, an original receipt from October 2nd, 1959. And uh, the store there is Beamish Stores, which is sort of local to where I am. And I just thought that that was so cool that this receipt from 1959 <laughs> was still in this box and um, I'm going to keep this. Which sort of got me thinking, you know, maybe this is the start of a little collection, like really old uh, receipts. So anyway, this is item uh, number one uh, that I found uh, in 2020 that I thought was super cool. So next I will share with you... Um, a uh, pair of paintings that you may have seen either in home tours or on my Instagram, which is the collection vintage at home. Um, that's like my personal lifestyle one. I also have one for my reselling gig, which I don't use as often, but it's just called the collection vintage. So these are the paintings that I love. If you know me, you know, I love a good um, floral painting. I actually have a floral artwork wall in my living room, but these are the paintings that I found and they're so beautiful. They're actual like original paintings, artists signed. You can see it down below there. So, and there's a pair of them. They don't match, but they go together. So anyway, I thought these were super cool. I found them actually at Value Village and I believe I paid $14.99 each. Or were they seven some seven ninety nine each? I can't remember, but anyway, either way, either I paid um, fourteen dollars in total or thirty dollars in total. But either way, I I absolutely love them, <clears throat> and they're like original artwork, which I think is a good deal. So they're signed by someone named Martino. There's no date, but uh, I just thought they're super cool. They could be. Um, 
maybe modern, but <clears throat> based on like the framing and stuff like that, I think they're um, a little older. So anyway, I love those. They're displayed in my house year round. You know, I decorate seasonally, but there are definitely some pieces that I keep, keep up year round and I just decorate um, like around. So anyway, these are them. They're up on my um, hutch that I display uh, my Pyrex and stuff in. So that is find number two. Find number three is a jadeite mug. I've been after a jadeite mug for a long time, but they can be kind of pricey. So I found this not at a thrift store, but at a, a like a vendor mall. It is Fire King and it's got this cool little handle there. So vintage mug, no chips, no crack or anything like that. I found it for $8. So I thought that was a good deal. Um, if you look online, you can find them upwards of, you know, $30. So I found this for eight. I thought it was um, a good deal for me. So I picked it up. It's just such a classic piece. And actually the woman that I, um, picked it up from was actually the one selling it. Oh no, she wasn't selling it, but she saw it come into the mall and she thought that it was super cool because she, uh, when she was uh, younger, um, would bake with this and this was what she would use for like a cup <laughs> and then like fill it up half, half a cup and that's how she would bake. So she thought that, that it was cool that I wanted to buy it and have it in my house. So that's pretty cool there. Found that mug there. So I guess that's item number three. Item number four is a little ceramic piece. I love thrifting ceramics, um, little figurines and stuff like that. So this is um, what I believe to be a Greyhound, but I thrifted this at the beginning of the year and um, I just think it's very cute. Dave and I, when we were first married, had a Whippet, which is sort of like, it goes like Greyhound in terms of size. Greyhound, Whippet, Italian Greyhound. So in between there's a Whippet. We used to have a Whippet smaller than a greyhound, not in this coloring, but anytime I see um, like anything in, with that particular kind of type of dog, whether it be greyhound or whippet, um, I will buy it. And uh, so we found this, this sits in Dave's office. And um, actually just recently, you maybe would have seen her in my uh, Christmas home tour, but uh, we actually got a whippet. So we have a little whippet named Winnie and uh, she does not have the same coloring as that, but uh, we love her and she's just the perfect addition to our family. So anyway, I found this at the beginning of the year, not knowing we would, um, you know, get a dog, but we did. And um, I'm, I, I love this piece of uh, ceramic here. So I found that this year. And then another piece of ceramic that I found is a planter. And it's this uh, Bambi planter here. And this is another one of those pieces where I keep it up, um, you know, year round. And uh, it has actually a crack in it. Where is the crack? I can't find it. So I wouldn't resell it. Um, it it's in here, but it's, you know, still, you know, the integrity is there. I still have the tag on it. Uh, it was $2.99 stamped Japan. But anyway, I found this and uh, I love it. So I will keep it for myself. That's the thing with um, resale is that sometimes I'll buy things what I think is going to be for resale and then I'll end up keeping it or I'll buy things for myself and then I'm end up reselling it. But the items that I'm showing you today are things that I'm keeping um, pretty much for sure for myself. So anyway, that was uh, the piece there. I've lost count, but that was actually item number five. <laughs> so item number six is actually kind of like a pile of items, but I've always um, looked at people who can thrift or find uh, while thrifting like really nice tea towels. I always find like really plain ones or ones that are um, uh, like souvenir tea towels and stuff like that. I've never found like really cool patterned tea towels. But this year, 2020, was the year of me being able to find tea towels. So the first one um, that I found, or not the first one, but the first one I'm going to share with you is this one here I shared in a haul. And actually it's a pair of tea towels. So I really liked this one here. thought that was cool. So I have a pair of those. And then the next thing I found, I found this one recently. I even still have a tag on it. So I may or may not resell this just because the year 1971 doesn't really have any meaning to me. <laughs> but uh, I found this tea towel here and it's got beautiful flowers on there and then it's the 1971 calendar which i thought was cool 
Um, so I thought maybe for Valentine's Day I would like I could use this for decoration maybe take the February 14th on there and like put a little heart on there something that's not permanent but something like that I don't know but uh, like I said 1971 <laughs> doesn't really have any particular meaning to me so I might resell that and then I found this one on Etsy actually I, you maybe would have seen it in my home tour but it's this little one here I thought was super cool it's got like little elf dancing fairy type Christmas tree ladies <laughs> on it which I thought was cool I had it displayed in my house like this on a um, like a little hanger with the clips so I thought that was cool and then the last set of tea towels I just found recently and I didn't even get to really display uh, for Christmas just because you know kiss Christmas is come and gone but I found these uh, for 25 cents a piece actually and they're um, just red with beautiful gold uh, detailing there so there's this one here I think they're all the same I believe does this one have a bird on it yeah they're all the same so I found three of them all the same so those um, little tea towels were uh, fun finds for 20 fun 2020 and going into 2021 I will also keep my eyes peeled for um, some fun tea towels because it's a cool little collection uh, to have so next moving along I will share this which I shared in a thrift haul um, you guys saw in it and I had said that it was maybe my favorite thrift find of the year and I think it is my favorite thrift find of the year we used it around Christmas time it's the perfect weighted afghan and uh, I just love the colors so I probably won't have this out in sort of like spring and summer and that sort of thing but once it gets um, you know into fall and winter Christmas specifically it's a great afghan to have around so that is another favorite from 2020. Moving along, I will share this bag here. So this bag I found um, at a flea market and I'm not sure if I shared it here or if I just shared it on Instagram, but it is an old binocular bag. So I thought it was really cool uh, to use as a purse. It's got like velvety inside there. And, um, uh, you know, I thought it was cool just to put up as decor, but also to use as a purse. Um, and then I was watching the show, was it a show or a movie? I think it was a movie actually. I've been binge watching TV <laughs> over the break, but I watched the movie Rebecca. It's on uh, Netflix and it um, takes place like in the 40s. And um, I think it's the 40s. Anyway, one of the uh, main characters in it carries this. Um, type of purse in it and I thought that was super cool so I've got my little leggings on there so I don't know if you can see it's called a business up top pajamas on the bottom but anyway um, I thought this was super cool um, holds just the necessities and it's got like a really good style to it so found that at a flea market I don't really remember how much I paid but not that much so anyway that was another favorite find of 2020 and then I got a couple of items left I think so hmm, let's see I'll I'll go with this one here so this is an item that I also found um, at an antique mall in a couple towns over and that's actually something that I've started doing in 2020 it started when uh, the lockdown happened and I started to um, do like online auctions through these antiques malls and then I just I don't know I started I usually just you know before 2020 or even before the last couple years I would just shop at thrift stores but now I've sort of branched out to antique malls and sometimes you can find like sometimes I used to think that the uh, prices were just like too much for me to pay uh, but I found that you can find some good deals or sometimes you just find something that you're willing to pay up for you know so um Anyway, that is something new for 2020, me shopping at antique malls. So anyway, I found this super cool pillow um, with this pom-pom fringe and it's like a um, punched uh, design here uh, with like uh, a bird and some flowers and it's just like blue velvety, kind of purpley velvety on the back. 
and um, I just love this and I paid up for it I paid I think $18 for it but I just think it's so beautiful and a really great statement piece I keep it in my office like at the back of my chair here it, it's really pretty and it's functional to sort of sit at my low back so anyway I thought this was really cool and I'm really happy to have found it in 2020 so the last thing that I found is actually a collection of items and this is one of the things that I got from uh, one of those online auctions through highbid.com and um, I can't remember the price. I think I probably paid I think $6 for this whole box and uh, what or tray I guess I should say. What it is is this whole tray of like advertising boxes with a few other little things in there. But what really caught my eye was this cat's paws um, box here uh, because I saw people around Halloween having this as like a decoration and I've never been able to find one but I found one in this lot and so that's why I really wanted to bid on it. It was really cool. Inside are actually the rubber soles <laughs> that you would um, put on your boots or whatever that give it grip. So anyway, I'm gonna use this for Halloween decor get back in there and um, that was the main reason I bid on the box um, or this lot I should say but there were a number of other cool boxes too in there this is a um, little box that says sunset soap dyes in there so that's cool then there's this one here um, anti noise ear stopples <laughs> I also liked the orange box Seems like maybe like a mouse or something got to it wherever it was stored, but I thought that was cool. Also for um, Halloween decor, so I thought that was neat. Then there's this here, spring tongue gauge pins. Um, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Just a blue box. I might resell some of these, I'm not really sure, but thought that was neat. And actually inside there is the um, little gauge pieces there gauge pins I guess you call them then this is pretty cool it's J&P coats um mercurized or mercurized mercurized um, mending floss and uh, I thought it was just going to be the box but actually inside there are some uh, spools of thread so. and then what else here there's this here which is called Chinese laundry ticket I looked it up and I believe it's like a um, like a magic sort of thing, like a magic game you can play on people. But anyway, thought that was neat. Then this little teeny tiny thing um, I thought was cool. It's a white uh, perf parfumerie marceau white powder. So, and I just like the green container. I thought it was sort of neat, but there's actually still white powder in there. Um, so I'm not going to open it up because I tried before and powder sort of got everywhere. So anyway, I thought that was neat. I liked the color. Maybe you could use that in some St. Patrick's Day decor or something like that, where you want to bring in the color green. And then lastly, there were these little plastic, really thin, thin plastic animals I thought could be used for maybe like um, assemblage, you know, artwork or that sort of thing. So those were cool. thought those were neat. They're really like really thin, thin plastic. So that's that. And then also like there were these metal things like a bottle opener and this um, Sherman Brothers Company, Jamestown, New York, 75th year in business, um, some metal or something. So just those two things here. I don't, I don't care to keep those, so I don't know what I'll do with those. But then overall, I thought it was neat because of the tray also that it came in. So it's this wooden tray with sort of like really neat joints there. What's that called? Like dovetail joints or something? I can't quite remember. Anyway, a really neat little wooden tray box that it came in. So I thought $6 for uh, that whole lot. And actually it wasn't just this lot. I feel like there were some other things in it as well. Maybe, I can't remember. Anyway, I got a good deal on this uh, shopping the online auction. So there you have it. That was my top 10 favorite thrift finds or secondhand finds, I guess you could say, of 2020. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to see more thrifty content from me, then please consider subscribing. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.